Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you how to work with IFC attributes and IFC properties in FreeCAD BIM. Starting with version 1.0, which is used in this video, FreeCAD has a native IFC functionality and that means that correct usage of IFC attributes and properties is important to produce good quality IFC models. Native IFC functionality means that FreeCAD can produce and edit IFC files natively without model translation from and to FreeCAD's native file format. First, let's take a look at working with IFC attributes. All IFC classes have attributes which contain non-graphical information about the object such as name or global ID. Each IFC class has attributes defined by the IFC schema. So for instance, IFC wall will have different attributes than IFC door object. Usually there are less than 10 attributes assigned to an IFC class. It is not possible to add or remove attributes by user user can either fill in values or leave them empty. So here you can see that for instance IFC wall class has these attributes description, global ID, name, tag, etc. So here I have a sample project in FreeCAD and each BIM object which is, which is created in FreeCAD has automatically IFC attributes assigned to it. So if I select this wall and I drag down in the data properties, you can see the IFC class is wall and these are the attributes that come from the IFC schema. You can see that if I select for instance this door, the attributes here are different than for wall and if I change the class of the object, so I would change it to the wall, the attributes would change according to the selected IFC class. So if I select the wall, in this tutorial we will fill in the data for this wall object and you can see attributes here and if I go to the attributes according to the IFC schema, I will first take a look at the name and you can see here that in the IFC attributes there's no name IFC attribute. This is because in FreeCAD the IFC name attribute is actually the label, uh, the label property in FreeCAD. So this is uh, some kind of outlier. So according to the IFC schema, the name should actually be something like W01, like wall01, the, the type name that would be readable like this. So I will fill this name in and the human readable name is actually in the description. So here I will type in a brick wall, brick exterior, something more descriptive like this. The global ID is unique ID of the object, which is unique basically in the in the world, and this is created automatically in FreeCAD, so you don't have to you don't have to manage this. Now the predefined type, you have the the enumeration according to the according to the IFC schema. So I will choose the let's say the solid wall for this one. And if the predefined type is solid wall, I don't have to uh, fill in the object type, but uh, you fill in the object type only if the predefined type is the user defined and then it's defined by the user in the object type uh, attribute. And the tag attribute is basically a software dependent tag. So there might be, it will be filled in by your software. So Revit fills in some number, 
uh, Akiket fills in some number that the object is then uh, it is used in the software. So FreeCAD does not need this tag, so we don't have to fill this in. And uh, the important thing is that uh, the tag is not this one. This is the IFC name or the label, and this is the type label. So even though FreeCAD does not support uh, types as of FreeCAD 1.0, that will be a new feature in FreeCAD 1.1, this is the type label. So this is the, basically all the data that you need to fill in to have a correct, uh, correct description of the object according to IFC schema. Now the little caveat is with this name, IFC name or uh, label. So if I, let's say, name this door and I change the, name, uh, the label to door 01, and because this is the same type as this door, I would want to name this door also uh, label it D01. But FreeCAD doesn't allow me to have the same label. So it automatically applies numbering after, after the name. So this is actually at current state of FreeCAD 1.0 a bit problematic with regards to the IFC schema. But otherwise, if I export these objects quickly to IFC, you will see if I save it and I will open it in an IFC viewer. If I select the wall, you can see that uh, that the IFC name and other properties that I other attributes that I filled in is correctly exported to the IFC. IFC properties contain non-graphical information, but unlike attributes, they are more flexible. Properties of similar type are grouped together into property sets. In IFC schema. There are predefined property sets. You can recognize these predefined property sets because they use pset prefix. It is up to the user whether certain object will have property set or sets assigned. It is also possible to create user defined property sets and properties for information which is not included in the IFC schema. This gives properties great flexibility. So back in FreeCAD, if I want to assign IFC properties to an object, so again to my wall exterior, I don't actually work with the, with the data properties. Uh, IFC properties are assigned in a completely independent way. So I will make sure that nothing is selected and then I will fire this tool manage IFC properties and this opens up IFC properties manager window where I can manage IFC properties of my BIM objects. So here I have a list of my objects. So I will scroll down and I know the W01 is the wall that I want to assign IFC properties to. So I will select it. And here I can see that it has got no IFC properties assigned. So before assigning properties, you have to create a property set. And I will use this add property set option. And you can see that you have got all of these options of predefined P sets from the IFC schema. So I will choose the wall common set and if I select it you can see that it's uh, automatically created according to the IFC schema here. So this is the property set assigned to the wall W1 and you can see if I click on this wall it doesn't have this property set assigned. So I'm working only with this object. And here I can insert values so uh, acoustic rating I can type in A01. Combustible is a Boolean value, so I will choose false. Then uh, 
compartmentalization I will set to true extent to structure means this uh, means whether it's uh, dividing uh, fire departments um, extent to structure means whether it's extended to some other structure like slab or roof so this one is false fire rating I will type in uh, EI 30 is external it is uh, whether the wall is external so this is true uh, load bearing means if it's structural so this one is true um, reference is actually deprecated in IFC 4.3 so I will not fill it in and if the value is, is not filled in it will be not exported into the IFC surface spread of flame it's again according to some national standard and uh, thermal transmittance is the u value of the wall so i will type in 0 0.02 so these are all the values and if i hit ok there are assigned and i can't see these ifc properties anywhere in the object properties i can only see them uh, when i fire up the ifc properties manager and i select the wall and you can see them you can see them here now of course I wouldn't want to fill in these properties for each object one by one so if I select these two doors uh, those are the garage doors I could add property sets for the doors so I will choose the door common and uh, I mean I will again type in fire rating like so and uh, you can see that both of these objects I have uh, assigned the property set and also the, the value. So you can choose multiple objects and assign them at once. Now, if you want to assign uh, a property to an object, which is not part of the IFC P sets, so no, not the IFC schema, I will want to create uh, some custom properties for this wall to you I will first have to create a new property set uh, and then I have to insert properties inside of that property set so I will create a new and I will name it FCB lounge property set make sure that your custom property set do not start with the P set prefix because this one is reserved for the property sets which are defined by IFC schema. So this is my property set and now I will add a property and here you can see all of the IFC property uh, types. So I will choose boolean and I will name the property FCB approved and I will create a second property uh, but first I have to select the property set in which it should be placed and I will add a property and I will use the integer type and I will name it FCB score and I will select values so for this one I will select the true because it's approved and set the score to let's say 60 so this is how you create custom, uh, custom uh, properties and custom property sets. Now I will select OK and let's see how it looks like when it's exported or converted to IFC. So I will use again the export and I will override the original. And here I'm in my IFC viewer and if I select the wall you can see that this is the p set wall common with all of the all of the values and you can see that the property that we didn't fill in uh, is not uh, is not here and the th thermal transmittance has uh, this unit and also this is the this is the fcb lounge property set the custom property set and you can also see if i select the door we created the piece of door common with just one property inside of it. So this is nice. 
So this is how we work with IFC property sets, IFC properties and IFC attributes in FreeCAD 1.0. If you like using FreeCAD, consider supporting the project by donating to it. The link to the donate page will be in the description box below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.